Rockies call him armed and dangerous. His girlfriend says he's innocent. Tonight, a double murder suspect is still on the run, and one of the victim's relatives is speaking out tonight. WYFF News Force Myra Ruiz is here with more. Myra? Well, Carol and Michael, we spoke to the sister of Jamal Justice, who says she's still waiting to hear why the man accused of killing her brother and another man was released on bond and placed on home incarceration. We want to know why. I mean, why? I mean, we just don't understand why. He, 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 the guy does not deserve it. Kalima Johnson says having her brother's accused killer on home incarceration was bad enough. And now that he's escaped, it's even worse. And the family's upset. They're scared. Bradford Williams is accused of killing Johnson's brother, Jamal Justice, and Sylvester Fuller outside the Bugatti Grand Nightclub early Thanksgiving morning in 2014. And he's out. We don't know where he is. Williams' girlfriend, Tiara Washington, says her boyfriend is innocent. She says he cut off his ankle monitor and ran off because he failed a drug test and would have to return to jail. She says, we all know that there are people in jail right now who are innocent. Just the thought that he might never come home again is terrifying for him. Washington says she believes Williams will turn himself in. She says, I'm scared that law enforcement will shoot him if they see him. I don't want him to die and do not believe he wants to die either. He's out on double murder, and we're trying to investigate the reason why. The judge who set Williams' $200,000 bond with a condition of GPS monitoring while under home incarceration was not available to explain how he reached that decision. Meantime, Williams' attorney, Scott Robinson, says the bond his client posted was set pretty high. And deputies say if anyone sees Bradford Williams, they'd like them to call 911. Carol?